Good evening, and welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you're looking at now is my uh, sous vide uh, uh, PID setup there. That's pretty much the whole thing, taking shape a little bit already. Uh, let me point out to you just what I do have here. Um, there's the LCD display showing the setting the, in the, the, the setting is uh, from the knob and then that's the set point temperature and then the input from the thermo um, the, the thermistor and then down here is the temperature that I'm actually trying to calibrate this is the temperature that's being translated into a temperature number from the raw input from the thermistor and it's tracking pretty close I've got it tweaked down to where it's, uh, it's alright I'm using a, um, a 39 ohm 5 or 10 watt power resistor, ceramic power resistor in there for a heater. And I also have a blue LED hooked up to come on whenever the heater comes on so that I can tell when it's heating. I'm uh, controlling the heat with the MOSFET right there. That's an IRFP460 MOSFET. I don't know why. And then I'm I'm feeding the heater with uh, 24 volts and it looks like it's drawing about 6 tenths of an amp and the system overshot its desired temperature so now it's actually cooling down a little bit oh it looks like it cooled past the desired temperature and now it's starting to warm back up this is the set point temperature here and this is the actual temperature inside the jug and I see that the lights are coming on so it's it's heating with that small amount of water in there it hasn't yet settled down to to a stable temperature yet and that's part of what we're what I'm trying to, to do here is see where and how uh, it does stabilize so that's pretty much it I got the it looks pretty cool when the light comes on in there, doesn't it? So the potentiometer controls the set point. And I have an alarm set to go off at, uh, well, I think it's 130 degrees. I can control the set point from, let's see, what's the bottom end of the range? This is all adjustable in software. Let's see, I got about 60, 59 or 60 degrees is the bottom of the, of the set point range. And what do I have the top set at? The top is 135. And then I think I have an alarm set in there at 125 or 130. Let's see if we can just get it to hold 115 right now. Well, at least I've got the thermistor calibrated about right. I have down in there, I have the thermistor and the, this digital thermometer uh, held together with O-rings so that they're both measuring the same part. And I put the, I encapsulated that little thermistor with some heat shrink and some silicone uh, heat transfer grease in there to keep it uh, out of the water and to allow a good thermal transfer. On the set and in, the higher numbers are cooler, so uh, heating up makes the numbers go down. And as you can see, it's converging on the set point. Now you could try 
also adding more power. Couldn't, yeah, let's see, I got six tenths of an amp, so if I turn up the voltage, what happens if I turn it up to 30 volts? I don't want to blow out my little power resistor there. that calibration right down, don't I? Right in this range. That's really nice. That's set by tweaking numbers in the software. Uh, there's two or three numbers, the high range and the low range, and the mapping that you have to tweak to get the temperature in, in degrees corresponding to the raw voltage reading from the thermistor. And uh, It's actually doing pretty good. And there you can see that it overshot the temperature a little bit. So when it does that, it should be settling down and turning the heater on less and less for shorter and shorter periods of time. Now these parameters can be set in the PID section of the system so that you have less hysteresis and less bounce on the settings, less overshoot. It will eventually settle down and make the error smaller and smaller as it oscillates around uh, the set point value. See, it's putting shorter and shorter bursts of heat into there. And when it finally realizes that it's six degrees over the set point, it should pause for a while on the heat. Yeah, I might have to tweak the process parameters in the PID a little bit to get it to not overshoot quite so much. Oh, there, look, it finally realized that it overshot and it stopped heating for a while. I should put a, an icon in the display to indicate when it's heating as well, or I might just mount an LED next to the display. calibration pretty good on the temperature translation. All right, that's, uh, <laughs> let's see, let's see what happens when I push the reset button, if I can find it. I know there's a reset button on here somewhere. Isn't there? Ah, there it is. Okay, sous vide, hot pot control, send me dollars. Thanks a lot.
Thank you for watching.